I got an addiction. I don't know what to do. Let me turn this down so I don't get copyrighted. And... It's so peaceful in here. I just can't get over it. <laughs> so peaceful in here right now. It is 11.36 and I've already taken Zeus out. I've taken my medicine and everything. I'm actually waiting for my nurse to come. She is going to change the dressing on my pick line and you guys know what that looks like. But if not, that's what it looks like. It's covered right now with that thingamajig. So she's gonna come and take the old dressing off which is basically taped to my skin and then she's gonna put another one on. She said she would be here between 12 and one and it's 11.36 now. So I figured I would wait for her to get here, do her thing, <laughs> and then I would go and get coffee. I'm thinking about going to get a wig, but here's the thing, and I need your help on this, so hear me out. I need a wig, just one, right now, so that I can film my videos and look decent. Like, I don't wanna get on film looking like this. So, <laughs> there's a wig at the beauty supply store that I saw, it's purple. Gorgeous, gorgeous fucking wig. It's like $58, not too shabby, but, I believe it's synthetic. There's a website that I went to, Unice Hair or Unice Hair. I've heard pros and cons about this company and I wanna try them for myself. So I was looking into one of their wigs. They have a, a great selection of wigs and some of which are right around that $50, $60 range. And with the discount that she gave in her live last night, I can get like $30 off the wig. So. You talking about $20 for a $50 human hair wig? I'm here for it, honey. But I'm debating, should I order that wig or should I go to the beauty supply store and get the synthetic one? Cause my plan is to get like one of those real wigs, honey, like a real wig, like a $200 wig. Something I can wear on a regular basis because as you know, I'm losing my hair. So this is just temporary while I'm doing chemo. So as long as I'm receiving the chemo, hey, I'm gonna need to wear a wig as long as my hair is falling out because you know, this shit is for the birds. Like I'm not here for ball patches and shit. This wig is gonna be temporary until I get the wig that I actually want to get. So I'm kind of in between. Should I go get the synthetic wig just temporarily or should I get a human hair wig that I could wear over and over and over again? Cause you know, once some synthetic wigs are done, honey, they are done. There's really no bringing it back. You can try, but it's tough <laughs> and I'm not here for that. So. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments if you think I should get the temporary wig from the beauty supply store or should I go ahead and invest $50, $60 in a human hair wig from Unice or somebody else? If you know, if you know about wig companies that sell quality human hair, drop them in the comments. I need this in my life, okay? I need some wigs. Or if you own a company and you feel like gifting a bitch a wig, I'm, I'm here for that too. Like DM me or something, send me an email. Find me on Instagram and send me a DM. That's the best way to get a response from me at this point. So the second thing is, if you're not following my IG, you wanna go ahead and do that real quick. There are gonna be things on my Instagram that I won't be including, that I won't be including in the vlogs. So if you're strictly here for the vlogs, I got you boo, don't worry. But if you're here for my photos as well, and you know, the reviews that I'm gonna be doing, pictures of Zeus and things like that, then you want to go ahead and follow me on IG. It's, my name is the same across all my social media. It is Meg the Tiger. And if you're here for it, then rawr, you feel me? So right now I'm just waiting for my nurse to get here. I haven't had breakfast yet. I'm thinking about getting or making myself a smoothie. That sounds like a good ass idea right now. So I'm going to make myself a smoothie. And again, if you want to see what I put in my smoothie, if you want to see what it looks like when I'm done, you want to go ahead and follow me on IG. I'm not going to include it in the vlog. It's going to be on my IG. Oh. Also, I wanted to give you a tiny update on what is to come. So let me put this camera down because it's making my arm hurt. The structure of my YouTube is gonna change slightly. I won't be posting daily vlogs. That's actually taking a toll on me in a negative way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post every Tuesday and every Friday. I'll say that again. I'm going to post videos on my YouTube channel every Tuesday and every Friday. You will either get a most times you'll get a most times you'll get a vlog there are times where i'm going to do reviews on products i'm also going to be doing hauls when i go shopping or when things get delivered i subscribed to ipsy 
most recently. So when I get those, I will be sharing with you what I got, how they work, if I like them or not. And this is just to help you in case you're in the market for something that I've gotten, then I'll give you my honest opinion on said product. So again, expect videos to go up every Tuesday and every Friday. These are gonna be weekly vlogs. So they won't be every day. You'll get a little bit from each day. So this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna vlog Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Here and there, little pieces of what I do because there's a lot of time that goes by where I'm not doing anything at all or I'm just playing video games or boring shit that y'all don't wanna see. So I'm gonna vlog Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That vlog is gonna go up on Friday. And then I'm gonna vlog Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and usually probably not on Saturday or Sunday, but Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday is gonna go up on Tuesday. So just so we're Man, just so we're all clear on how that's gonna work. So that's gonna be the new structure of my YouTube channel. And it'll give me more freedom to do the things that I need to do in the background because things are really starting to pick up for me. And when I say pick up, I mean like with lightning speed. So I'm really just trying to keep up at this point. I had to give myself some structure. So you're gonna see vlogs that go up on my channel on a weekly basis, twice a week. In between there, or sometimes included in the vlog itself, you will see the haul that I'm doing or the review that I'm doing. Um, for example, I ordered a mascara, um, mascara. I ordered foundation from Il Maquillage, and that's supposed to be arriving today. So when I review that foundation, I want to see that coverage, honey, because I have never been able to find a foundation that matches my skin tone. I guess I'm just rare. Rare. But no, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how well this foundation covers, you know, my skin and blends with my skin color or my complexion. So that's going to arrive today. If I don't get around to doing a review on it today, then I will definitely do it tomorrow and it'll be included in this vlog. And I'm still debating if I should include it in this vlog or if I should do a separate video because it's gonna be kind of long. It's gonna be like a full face beat. So I'm thinking I'll just do a separate video for that, reviewing the foundation, as well as um, a mascara that I bought. TikTok made me buy it. <laughs> I'm gonna be reviewing that mascara as well. So that's gonna be a separate video and it's gonna go up tomorrow. So you may see other videos between my vlogs but strictly for the vlogs, they're definitely gonna go up Tuesday and Friday. In between there, you may get other little things, try on hauls, you know, uh, shoe hauls, um, accessory hauls, you know, whatever I end up buying or getting or doing that requires a separate video, then you'll get those sprinkled in as they happen. The next thing is my Instagram is going to have a lot more structure. I have switched it over to a professional account because I am an entrepreneur. This is not something that I've shared with you guys, but I'm sure you could tell. Um, there's things that I've been working on in the background that I haven't told you about. And like I said, things are really starting to pick up at this point. So you're going to see a lot more structure as it relates to my Instagram and my Twitter, my TikTok, and my Snapchat as well. So if you're not following me on my social media, remember my name is the same across all my social media. It's Meg the Tiger. There is only one, none other. Just me. If you're not currently following me on my social media, then I would recommend that you do that only because my Instagram is gonna be strictly Instagram. The content that I post there is gonna be what I post there. You won't see it anywhere else. The same thing is gonna go for my TikTok. I'm not sharing my TikToks to my Instagram anymore. Those are strictly gonna stay on TikTok. The same thing for my Snapchat and my Twitter. All of those platforms have a purpose and I am using them for the purpose that they were created for, if that makes sense. So if you wanna see my content and different shades of me, if you wanna to get to know me on a deeper level, then I would recommend that you follow me on my social media accounts so that you can stay in the loop and never miss anything. I'm also gonna be doing giveaways. If you're not subscribed to this channel or if you're not, and if you're not following me on my other social media, I would recommend that you do that if you wanna be included in the giveaways that I'm gonna be doing. I'm not even gonna tell you where I'm gonna post them. Just keep your eyes open, period. What else, what else, what else? I'm, I'm so excited, I'm just, I'm feeling it. Like I'm feeling really good today. It's a really, really good day. I think that's about it. If I think of anything else, I'll come back and say so. But for now, just keep your eyes open for those changes and things that are gonna be happening. It's gonna be really, really exciting. And I'm gonna have a surplus of 
clothes, jewelry, makeup, you know, skincare products. So I'm going to be doing giveaways. I really, really encourage you guys to follow my other social media, not only for the giveaways, but if you fucking with me, if you really fucking with me and you like my content, you enjoy it, then I would recommend that you follow me, share my content, you know, click the like button. That's always helpful to let the algorithm know that you enjoy my content. So other people who may enjoy it can see it as well. It's all helpful. You understand? I think that's it for now. If there's anything else, I'll come back a little bit later. But for now, I'm just going to go make myself a smoothie. And when my nurse gets here, I'll set the camera up so you guys can see her change my dressing for my pick line. And yeah, honey. But for now, everything is good. I feel good. I do have chemo this Friday. So I'm uh, more than likely not going to vlog that because you guys saw in the last one, the whole procedure. Unless there's something that happens. I mean, I'm still gonna bring my camera, but I'm not gonna like vlog the whole, like them giving me each medicine because you know, that's repetitive. So I'm still gonna vlog a little bit, but not very much because you guys have seen that process already. If you haven't, then I would suggest that you check out my video on when I received my chemo. I'll try to link it somewhere so you can see it. So I'm gonna go make my smoothie and when my nurse gets here, I'll set the camera up if she's comfortable. I'll set the camera up so you guys can see her change my pick line dressing. So I'll see you in a little bit. Me. Nurse Lindsay. <laughs> You're gonna watch her change the dressing on my pick line. So hopefully go. they can see. from my coffee right it's so windy on this bitch like the nurse said that um rain was coming like we get two days of warm weather and then rain has to come like i love the rain don't get me wrong but like i'm loving this weather right now this is my kind of weather like you want to know what my kind of weather is this is my kind of weather this is my kind of weather my type my type <laughs> i'm going to, i'm getting some coffee obviously and then i'm gonna stop by frish's and then i'm gonna go back home and i'm just gonna kind of chill for the rest of the day I feel really, really good. Like, I feel OD good. I almost feel bad that I feel so good. Like, <laughs> and my cousin, um, no, not my cousin. Somebody commented on my video on, not my video, sorry. Somebody commented on my Instagram and was like, you make kicking cancer's ass look so good. And I'm like, bitch, I ain't got no motherfucking choice out this bitch, you heard me? I am not about to sit around and be some you know, weak, dying cancer patient. That's not me. That's never been me. I don't give up. If I make it look good, bitch, then we gonna make it look good. You feel me? <laughs> and so I'm gonna get this coffee. I'm gonna get my food. I'm gonna go back home. It's gonna be a great day. I hope you're having a great day. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a great day. Make it count, baby. Maximum effort. <laughs> okay. 
going to the Dollar General. Best friend, best friend, you gotta say something. What? Thank you, because you make it seem like I'm talking to myself. Say hi to my vlog. You probably are talking to your cat. Say, <laughs> say hi to my vlog. Don't be mean. Uh, MFers. MFers? He called y'all MFers. Don't let him talk to you like that. He ain't shit. He ain't shit. <laughs> Come on. Shut up. I'm going in the Dollar General to get an eyebrow pencil because I forgot that I don't have one for this color. My eyebrows were dark brown before and I was like, oh, blonde, but I never went and got a pencil. So I'm gonna go in here and see if they got a pencil real quick because my foundation is coming today and I'm so excited. Damn, I'm running here and do that. And then I'm gonna head home. So talk to you in a little bit. Meow, I've been waiting for my foundation to be delivered. Like y'all know I'm excited about getting my foundation and up until about an hour or so ago, it was saying that it was gonna be delivered today by the end of the day. But when I checked the tracking, it said that it was pending. So I'm assuming that even though it was 70 miles away and it left the, the FedEx um, location out in Grove City at midnight, I assumed it would be here by end of business. And here it is, 8.44 and I haven't gotten it yet. So I'm assuming I'll get it tomorrow, which does kind of push my plans because I wanted to do the review video on it tomorrow. So now, depending on when it gets here, like if it gets here in the morning, then I'll still have time to do the video. But if it ends up coming in the evening, then I'm gonna have to push that video because I have chemo on Friday. And depending on how I feel, I may or may not be able to get that video done by the weekend. So it's not a big deal. I'm hoping that it gets here tomorrow morning so that I can get it done. I think I changed my skincare routine and I started using a serum that I'd never used before and it's infused with cannabis, it's by Shea Moisture. And my, my, I've noticed these little bumps, almost like a little rash or some irritation on my skin. And I'm wondering if it's coming from that serum or if it's coming from the moisturizer. Cause I know it's not the toner and I know it's not the face wash. It's gotta be one of the other two. So I'm gonna eliminate the serum from my regimen for a few days and see if the rash clears up. You probably can't really see it on camera, but I can feel the tiny little bumps on my cheeks. And the other day I noticed them on my head as well, on my forehead right here. It might be that serum. So I'm gonna remove that serum from my routine for a little bit and see if it clears up. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna remove the moisturizer from my routine and just use um, something that's fragrance free because it could be the fragrance. I don't know, but I'm going to do the process of elimination to figure it out and we'll see what happens with that. For now, I guess I'm just going to have to wait until tomorrow and see if my foundation comes then. If so, then great. Depending on what it gets here, I can still do the review video on it. If not, then it'll get pushed until I feel good enough to do it. We'll just kind of go from there. For now, I'm just chilling. I'm not going to go to bed yet, but I will be in bed in the next couple of hours or so. Hope you guys had a great hump day. I know I did. I felt really good today. I got a lot done. Tomorrow, I'm supposed to be going into the city, hopefully with a friend of mine, and I'm just gonna take some photos and then come back home. Nothing major, but it's supposed to be like really fun and super lit, so I'm excited for that. So I'll definitely bring you along so you can see what we end up doing, where we end up going, and how things end up going. So I will see you tomorrow. There he is, the big guy. I'm in my yard and I wanna take some photos. So I'm gonna set up my camera and take some photos to put on my Instagram. I actually did a lot today, as you can tell. I did a little bit of makeup. My foundation did not arrive last night. I'm so disappointed, but it should arrive today. If nothing else, it should arrive today. So fingers crossed for that. So. I have on a bunch of other stuff, but I don't have on any foundation. So I was like, it's all right. I'll just edit it in post. Like when I'm done taking the photos, I'll just edit my skin so that it's smooth. But I got my contour blush highlight. I even put some lashes on, bitch. I'm doing big things today. So I'm going to the city, like I said yesterday, so I can take some more photos and hopefully a friend of mine can come with me. She's a little shy and she has social anxiety just like I do. So I told her, I was like, no pressure, but if you wanna come, like I would love to have you. So 
hopefully she comes if she doesn't then that's fine as well i'm just gonna go take a few photos i'm not gonna do too much and then i'm gonna bring my ass right back home because it is overcast today and i believe it's gonna rain it does look like it's gonna rain so hopefully that doesn't spoil my plans but i'm gonna go get that done right now it is 11 25 so I'm going to take some photos and then if you guys want to see them, then follow me on Instagram. Um, I'm going to link it so you guys can see what my name is, but it, it's the same across all my social media. You never have to ask me, what's your cash app? What's your Snapchat? What's your Instagram? What's your Twitter? It's all Meg the Tiger. That is all. I am the only one. There is no other like me, baby. So Meg the Tiger, you can find me just about anywhere. I'm going to do that and then I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Okay. I'm at Frisch's again, y'all. I got an addiction. I got an addiction. I don't know what to do. The food is just so good. Let me turn this down so I don't get copyrighted. And so I'm gonna show you what I got. First of all, we got a large strawberry lemonade right there. That is bomb. Instead of French fries today, I decided to try their mac and cheese. So far, so good. Looks like mac and cheese to me. Got my basket of shrimp, of course. And then I decided to try their fried mushrooms. I used to love these back in the day, but not everybody knows how to execute. So I'm gonna try these and we'll see how it works out. It's starting to rain and that's a little frustrating. Although I knew it was going to rain, I really wanted to go out and take photos today. So this is more than likely gonna run me back in the house. I'm probably just gonna go get my coffee and go back home, but keep my face the way that it is so that when my foundation gets here, I can just like wipe off everything but my eye makeup and then do the video for the review of the uh, foundation that I'm getting so either way it's gonna work out no worries I love the rain so I'm gonna enjoy my food and then I'm probably gonna just run and get coffee from Starbucks and then head back home because this doesn't look like it's going anywhere at all but no worries there's always another day so I do have chemo tomorrow so more than likely the only thing you guys will see from me tomorrow is me on my way to chemo maybe a couple of shots you know in the facility where I am and then me when I get home maybe but usually after uh, chemo I go home and take a nap so we'll see but for now happy fucking Thursday bitch it's raining like for real It's not playing no games. And I decided not to go get coffee. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go home because I'm not that far and I got my strawberry lemonade. So I'm just gonna go ahead and head home. What I'll do is, because my outfit is cute as fuck, honey, and I definitely, you know, put in effort on my face. So I'm gonna go home, take photos. Those photos are gonna go on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, now is your opportunity to go ahead, follow me on Instagram so that you can see the photos that I end up taking. By the way, I finished my food. Of course, I smashed the shrimp because that's my fave. The mac and cheese was just okay. For me, it's like noodles and cheese. There's no seasoning. There's nothing else. And when I eat a mac and cheese, what I look for is like a baked mac and cheese. I want to taste different cheeses. I want to taste some seasoning. I want to taste, you know, I wanted to have some body. I wanted to have some va va voom. You know what I mean? Like when my sister cooks mac and cheese, you could tell she put her whole fucking left foot in that shit. Like that's what I want. But I know I'm not gonna get that from a fast food restaurant, but I'm just fiending for like my sister's mac and cheese. So if my sister sees this, I'm coming to Atlanta to get some of that mac and cheese, honey. So the mac and cheese was just okay for me. The fried mushrooms were good. They were a tad bit on the salty side, but I, you know, assume that, you know, that's just the way the batter was around it. Um, Not the batter, the breading. And I like them because they are breaded instead of battered. I really, if you watched my last um, video, then you know that I'm, I don't really care very much for battered food. I prefer my food to be breaded. So the breading on it was good. It was just a tad bit on the salty side. It could have been that or the ranch dressing that they gave me, either one. Overall, it was a filling meal. I feel good, you know, shrimp, mushrooms. I didn't eat all the mac and cheese. I still have quite a bit left. Overall, it was good. Was it worth $16? Yeah, it was. It was. So, it is what it is. Oh, it's gonna be a great day now because now I get to go home and like chill because I was really gonna go to the city. I was gonna be gone for a few hours. It's only like one o'clock, but I was definitely gonna go to the city and be out there until at least three o'clock or four o'clock, you know? I'm gonna head home 
and just kind of chillax for the rest of the day. So I will check you later. <laughs> Guess we just got here, y'all. That's my makeup. Let's go get it. Stay here, Jess. Stay. Oh, it's windy. It is windy. That's all that, all that rain coming. So, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I was in here taking photos. That's why I got my stuff set up. Ah, uh -huh. where my blade at? Oh, I'm excited. Cause that means I get to film that video today. And I wanted to film that video today. So I was hoping that this would come early enough so that I could do that. So we're gonna see. I'm gonna cut this open. Ooh. 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 So if you wanna see me put this on, you know you gotta go watch that review video. Yeah.